Well, hello everyone and welcome again to Penetration Universal, a conversation with myself and one. Today's conversation is one that is really close to all of our hearts. We, we've seen this situation going on in Ukraine right now and we are really, you know, deeply heartened by what is going on. We're sad to see so many people suffering, going through pain. This is unbelievable pain. It's cold, it's freezing, and we really want to have a conversation with people to understand what is truly going on on ground. How are you both? Hello, hello, Miss Anne. We try to do our best. We, we're still fighting. So let us introduce ourselves. We are members of a volunteer organization and we're based in uh, Ivano-Frankivsk. It's a um, city in West Ukraine. Uh, we're trying to keep all humanitarian help and uh, to make some uh, logistic. Okay. You know. So how are you both feeling right now? Now, if you, if, you know, with everything going on, because we are on the outside and we can't say, we, we know there is pain, there is struggle, but how are you feeling, both of you? Um, yeah, first of all, let me introduce Maxim. Maxim is the head of volunteer member organization and he's from uh, Kherson city. This city is uh, occupied now by, uh, by Russian Federation and it's really hard. Uh, he was going out from Kherson a few days ago before uh, just in time when Russian soldiers go in, in the city. Yeah. Um, so um, we are trying to to support each other. We're trying to support those people who are uh, going from uh, East Ukraine to West Ukraine. We are trying to support, uh, to, uh, to help them with all necessaries that they need. And also we, we wanna uh, <clears throat> give a message to all of people, people all over the world that we need uh, exactly uh, help, exactly material help, it, yeah. uh, we, we need uh, medicines so much because because uh, there is lack lack of medicines yeah. and um, you know even now in Mariupol a uh, small small girl who was just six years died because of lack of water it's it's unbelievable in 21st century yeah I got no comments did you ever believe in this in 2020, in 2022, anything like this would have happened? No, no, oh, nobody, nobody can imagine this, this yeah. crazy situation. This, so, it, 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 there are rivers of blood. It's, uh, honestly, River, rivers of blood around hands of who yeah. it. It's crazy. So what, what, what do you need for people to do? Like, and what, what, what donation, if, if people are to support, because there's so much donation going on, but you don't want to get the wrong donation, which is what I'm seeing. There's yeah, don't know yeah what. I, I, I understand you perfect, because uh, people all over the world uh, try to help us and they are sending a lot of humanitarian help that is not necessary. I mean, like skirts, tooth, uh, brush but we do not need this we need medicines medicines is first of all uh, also we need um, we need ammunition bullet vest uh, uh, jackets gloves mm. knives yeah. medicines and ammunition that's first of all that's emergency it is just самое главное то есть медикаменты сейчас самое главное самое главное сейчас амуниция для наших солдат Потому что ну, на данный момент мы являемся э, преградой между оккупантами, которые есть с Россией и Европой. Вот, поэтому у меня огромная просьба. Вот, э, вы делаете огромное дело, вы делаете то, что нужно нам. Вот, но надо скорость, нам нужно время, у нас нет времени, no time. Вот, поэтому, пожалуйста, э, по возможности помогайте. Э, список мы предоставляли, вот, мы готовы, мы можем это все отправить в наши горячие точки. И мы готовы это отправить э, там, где сейчас оккупация. То есть это оккупировали мой родной город. Мы сами разговариваем, летают самолеты. Вот прямо сейчас летают самолеты. So, so Maxim, wanna make accent on this that we are the last border between Europe and 
between aggressor and um, he he also said that we do not have a lot of time we are very we we are very lack of time we need we need time and we need medicines and ammunition um, situation can be catastrophic from from day to day you know we we are last border between aggressor and um, and europe and also maxim said that uh, that his uh, his uh, town his city his um, city was occupied by by grass мы каждый день сейчас получаем uh, помощь uh, с разных стран, вот, и мы надеемся, что Британия нам тоже будет помогать, вот, мы делаем одно общее дело, мы вместе, мы и вы воюем против врага, которого, ну, мир еще не знал. Максим said that we are now fighting with the, with the Putin, with the aggressor, who world did not even know, never, maybe, maybe we can compare, I suppose it will be correctly, we can compare this this person with Hitler mm. because just now he's making it's called denazification but what's that denazification he wants to to destroy our nation he wants to destroy ukraine and why yeah. so we do not understand and we we are very we are very happy we are no, we are very happy to go to get possibility to uh, to work with our friends with countries that are our friends, especially in, with, uh, um, um, with UK, with, with any other, with whole Europe, you know. How are your family? How are your family doing? Uh, okay. Как как ваши семьи? Ну, мои дети, дети и жена я успел отправить в Европу. Мои родители сейчас там, папа, мама сейчас там. Вот связь с ними практически нет связи. Я не знаю, что с ними происходит, потому что Российская Федерация выключает, нет работает телевидение только российские новости, они промывают людям мозги. Вот телефон, связь отсутствует, интернет на интернет. Okay, uh, Maxim also uh, wanna said uh, that um, his parents and his children are in uh, Europe now, but there is no connection with them because because uh, uh, Luxembourg. Mm, yeah, they are in Luxembourg because uh, aggressor uh, destroy this uh, setting, destroy uh, mobile uh, connection. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, also in Kherson right now, you should understand the, the situation uh, just right now on local TV is only Russian propaganda television, no Ukrainian channels, just like this. They are making propaganda and they believe that people, simple Ukrainian will, will believe in them and we, don't, we do not know what, what they are what they're thinking about. Также они рассказывают на весь мир, что Украина не предоставляет зеленый коридор доступ в город, это полное вранье. То есть мы на данный момент собрали уже много десятков тонн продуктов, которые находятся 40 километров от нашего города. Продукты, медикаменты. Мы готовы это предоставить наш город. Но Российская Федерация обманывает весь мир и говорит, что Украина не предоставляет. У нас это все есть. Они просто не дают доступ, они просто хотят людей заморить голодом, чтобы потом показать всему миру, будто бы это Россия их спасает. Это неправда. Also, the, Maxim uh, wanna said that they are speculating on very, uh, very hard term. Speculation is going on green corridors. Oh, wow. Russia blocks blocks green corridors, and people can just die because of lack of food. That's the and thing. Medicine. Yeah. They they are blocking uh, green corridors because uh, of uh, after that they wanna. Uh, they want to transport their own humanitarian and to present whole world that they are saving us. Yes. Mm. So in on, honestly, the most important thing is that people need to give the right donation. Yeah, yeah. We want to make accents on this. Yes, Maxim. Питається, чи що найбільше потрібно нам? Яка не в чому найбільше є потреба по по донація? Вы можете сказать? Да, ну, пожертвование. Но это, это медицинская помощь. Это самое главное, что сейчас есть. Потому что 
различная медицинская помощь и для людей гражданской, которые есть, и для нашей армии медицинская помощь – это самое важное сейчас. Вот И военное бундирование, это бронежилеты, это каски, это различные перевязочные материалы. Максим сказал, что right donation will be medicine and ammunition. Гемостатики, морфии. That's all we need emergency. We are talking about hemostatics, for example, Celox, uh, for example, also about um, tronoxam acid, atamzilat. We're talking about morphy, and the trachel tubes. Uh, we are talking about bandages. That's because it's it's really war. It's true without any. Нам не надо зубные пасты. Нам не надо. Одежда, это нам не надо, нам надо то, что необходимо. Пожалуйста, объясните это людям, чтобы люди понимали. We do not need clothes, like skirts, t-shirts. We do not need teeth, brushes. We, we do not need this. We need emergency care. Okay, now I'm so honored. And honestly, I hope, do you think this will resolve itself peacefully? Do you, what are you seeing on ground? Do you think this will end peacefully? Мы верим в то, что это скоро закончится. Яким мы видим следующий результат? Ну, понимаете, в чем дело? Я не то, что верю. У нас другого варианта нет. Потому что это это коричневая чума. Шансов других нет. Я вообще надеюсь, что это все решится через неделю. Но вместе мы выиграем. Мы должны вместе это все делать. We not could win. We must win. We must win for whole world for for я думаю, весь мир увидел, что Украина, украинская нация, украинские люди это имеют огромный потенциал, огромные возможности, их силы просто безграничны. Но без помощи других стран мы не выиграем, мы не победим. We are simply a very good nation and we try to help each other and we try to be the last border between aggressor and Borimusa and Borimo. We are fighting and we win. Oh, I wish you all the best. Borimusa Borimusa Poborate. Slava Ukraine. Slava Ukraine. Well, thank you so much, and I wish you all the best. Thank you so much for this conversation. I appreciate this. Thank you. 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 Thank you.